Okay, hi, this is Luke, the CCC librarian. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to request documents or full text articles from Klein that do not appear in full text in our CCC um, database holdings. Um, so I'm starting here at the library homepage for CCC, and I got here, you know, just from the homepage um, of the college, click library in the upper right hand corner, and then you're here. Um, I'm going to click the Find Articles button, and I'm going to use the search box right here at the top. Um, in this case, I know the title of what I'm looking for. It's called When Bad Theories, you can see I've done this before, happen to good scientists. And I'll click Search. This will take me into EBSCO which is um, pretty much our only and our major um, uh, journal article repository or database where you can come in here and uh, search for any and all um, topics, uh, disciplines, and whatever, and find stuff. Um, so we put in this exact title. Here it is. It's by Matt Ridley in the Wall Street Journal. Oftentimes, there will be a PDF uh, full text link right here, but this time there is not. So we can, if we want to, click check for full text at this point, or you can click on the title, go into the full record here for the article. Okay, here's what it's about. Um, and then click check for full text on the left-hand side. What happens now is kind of weird. Um, this is a little engine that we have that looks it up in any other database that CCC students have access to it'll almost always say, sorry, this item is not available online. Um, so you're gonna go down here to the green Request It button, click that, and then you have a gateway where you pick NAU or CCC. Most of you will wanna pick CCC. And now you're gonna log in with your Comet ID and password. Um, and everybody cross your fingers because I have a dummy account that I'm going to try to use. Password. Okay, I'm going to click log in. And it's fine to just accept this. It's nothing weird. Um, you don't even really have to read this too closely. Just go with the default setting there and click accept. And now you're actually in NAU's uh, Klein Library's interlibrary loan program. They often call interlibrary loan um, DDS, or Document Delivery Services, which is confusing for people because everywhere else in the world, it's usually called ILL. Anyway, you have to fill out this form. Um, I'm going to put in my real name here. Um, you want to use your coconino.edu email address. Um, if you give them a Gmail or a Hotmail or whatever, they'll actually just boot you out of the system and they won't let you make any requests. They have to know that you are with NAU or CCC. So that email is important. Um, daytime phone, 64369. Feel free to call that number if you ever need help with library stuff. And I'm CCC staff. Loan delivery method, I'm going to pick hold for pickup. Um, the only people who should select mail to address are distant students, so people taking online classes um, somewhere else in Arizona. Klein will actually mail you books um, if, if that's your situation. But if you're in Flagstaff, um, you've got to click hold for pickup. Even though you click hold for pickup, you still have to put a mailing address in here. Um, you have to fill this part out. And they know this is a flaw and it annoys people. Um, this, this particular interlibrary loan system is going to go away sometime this year. Um, and so I think they're just waiting until that happens before they make it any more user friendly. Um, so I've got this form all filled out. I'm going to click Submit Information. And now this is what you'll see. Um, after you've gone through this process once, given them your address and like signed up for this service, um, when you click that find full text button or that request it button, you will get this kind of screen, which is a pre-populated form with all the information from that article that we were looking at in EBSCO. Remember, here's Matt Ridley, when bad theories happen to good scientists, yada, yada, yada. Um, that's the thing we're looking for. And we don't really have to worry about any other fields on this page. You can just scroll down and click Submit Request. 
once you've done that, it'll appear here in your outstanding requests. Um, when it's available for you, they will send an email saying, hey, the article you requested is available. Um, it won't have the article in the email. You'll have to click a link and it'll take you back to a page like this. Um, and in fact, you might even have to log in again with your Comet ID. Um, but eventually you should see this sort of page. Look at the menus on the right-hand side and you can view your requests. And I think when there's something ready here, there'll be another box that says um, uh, view articles. Actually, it may just be this thing, my chapters and articles. Yeah, and so when, once it's available, it'll appear in this table right here. There'll be a link to download the PDF and boom, there you go. Um, again, if you have any problems, there's an email here you can send to. Um, you can also uh, give me a call or an email and I can help you out. Um, one last thing I was going to say is, oh yes, this process usually takes just a few days. Um, sometimes in the toward the end of the semester, toward the beginning of the semester, they're really busy and it might take three or four business days. Um, in my experience, it's usually one or two um, and sometimes even a couple hours if it's something that they have handy and can just attach uh, or upload for you so you have it available. Okay, that's it. Again, I'm Luke, the CCC librarian. Um, any questions, go to that library homepage uh, right back here. Uh, send me an email, give me a call. I'm happy to help um, with any problems you might have. All right, thanks for listening.